Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Red Gaming Studio Comp video, we're going to be discussing AMD, specifically graphics cards with the company. We're going to start things out with RX Vega 56 and how reviewers are being asked to, to prioritize the 56 over the 64, and then we're going to switch to Navi, which is the successor to Vega because some news has popped up that it has features which apparently uh, accelerate artificial intelligence. We'll get into that in just a moment. So, starting things out with the Vega 56. AMD are already sampling RX Vega 56 to reviewers, and the NDA, by the way, ends on August the 14th, so three or four days we should start seeing reviews popping up. But, according to Gamers Nexus website, as of today, AMD noted that the RX Vega 56 cards have been shipped to reviewers, along with requests that reviewers specifically prioritize coverage of RX Vega 56 over Vega 64 under timed constrained conditions. So what does that really mean? Well, it essentially means that they're saying, hey, if you don't have time to cover both cards and get both cards up simultaneously, we would awfully appreciate if you really worked on the 56 card instead. Which is kind of weird, because when you think about it, the launch is actually not exactly feeling well planned out, I guess is the best way to describe it, because let's face it, NDA the NDA date excuse me, was known for some time, and AMD have only started to send out samples a day or two ago, which means reviewers, and by the way, this is assuming that as a reviewer, you haven't had to play where's the parcel with the respective courier, and that's happened to me a few times. So a comprehensive review can take at least a week, and Sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. This is assuming that drivers and everything else installs perfectly. You have no issues at all because it takes time to, of course, go through the features of the card, make sure it's performing correctly, do bug fixing, do testing, figure out what resolution's best, figuring out, of course, what you're going to be doing in terms of, you know, the graphs, how you're going to actually present the data, recording any audio, assuming you've got that, or typing up the review or both, depending on whether you're a website or a YouTube channel. Then you've got other considerations as well, like is there a last minute driver update which has improved performance? It does take quite a long time in some instances. Some hardware is not too difficult, others like graphics cards and a platform reviews take quite a while. And this is, of course, assuming that you don't have other stuff to do as well. Uh, a lot of websites have, you know, aren't huge enough to be able to support themselves just with the, you know, reviews. So Quite often, they're either doing other things like you know having a real uh, having a normal job, having like a real world responsibilities as well. Like for example, you know you might have a family, or perhaps you've you've got to I don't know do things like shopping. That would also be a good thing. Plus, well, there's also the other thing, and this is a bit of a titchy one. You've essentially now cut that down because you were telling them originally to work on the Vega 64. Now you're switching that and telling them to work on the Vega 56. So I imagine the reviews possibly might not be as ideal as what you'd expect because the performance embargo for both is the 14th, right? But the weird thing is the launch dates are different. So the launch date for the Vega 56 is the August the 28th, whereas the Vega 64, the launch date is August the 14th, which is the same date as the performance embargo, which is kind of weird. I'm going to level with you. I have had reviews which were asked to be rushed through as well. Sometimes this is because of early review seeding. So, for example, let's say that there's 50 products, uh, 50 products that a company have to send out, 50 samples, I guess, is the best way of describing it. And they need to give that to as many uh, people as possible. Let's actually say a more realistic number, 50 is too much. If it's quite limited, it might be 20 or 30 in that particular region or country. Well, they need to get that to as many reviewers as possible. Therefore, they might say, you know what, we need this to be rushed. And I've actually had one vendor, I won't mention names, who kind of panicked because basically their, their samples came in uh, without really much fanfare. They, they just came in. Some of their competitive products were already available. And essentially, they just asked me, could you please get this up as fast as possible? You know, we'll rush it over to you. Um, it's it basically just sent FedEx the next day. I got it at like 9 a.m. or something ridiculous. And... Basically, I had three or four days to do all the testing. So in that case, I had to do all the testing, including BIOS updates and all of this stuff within three days. And then after that, I had to send it off and then I had to work on the review later. So uh, pretty much it was like if I screwed up by missing 
some of the benchmarks if I, I don't know, forgot to benchmark a particular application at a particular resolution. Oh, well, that's too bad, pretty much. But, you know, in this instance, it should really be like that, at least in my opinion. Anyway, um, there's a lot of speculation we could have on this. I'll leave it to you. Um, we'll find out the real truth, I guess, in just a few days. Anyway, what about Navi? So, I'll just quickly give you the too long didn't read uh, what Navi is. It's the next generation of architecture and the graphics card from Vega. Not an awful lot is known about Navi. One is scalability. So scalability essentially appears that it's going to be built on Infinity Fabric. To be honest, I could make quite a lengthy video on that subject alone, um, and I probably will actually, because I have a feeling that it's possible we might not see huge dies with Navi. We might actually see smaller dies and basically have them, I don't like to use the word glued, but I'm just going to use it anyway, glued together um, and basically utilize Infinity Fabric to essentially create the performance of larger dies, which in theory at least improves yields and customi customability of this uh, particular uh, GPU. And there's also this next generation memory, which honestly... It's not like they're going to go to the planet Zog and, you know, ask them for their memory technology and it's going to be like crystals, like in, you know, Superman or something like that. Realistically, it's going to be, you know, high bandwidth memory free or possibly GDDR6 or whatever they feel is the best price performance ratio. But here's the latest rumor. This one comes to us through Fudzilla. And accordingly, oh, by the way, it's also on 7NM, just for FYI. So accordingly, they have sources which have confirmed that Navi will have dedicated artificial intelligence circuitry. For those who watch the Volta launch or have had any interest in the V100 chip, it does have tensor cores. Now these tensor cores do their darndest, bless them, to accelerate AI learning and that type of thing. And they do a pretty damn good job. It's hard to argue that the performance hasn't gone up quite drastically. So obviously... It was a bit late for them to add that type of competitor um, sporting technology into Vega. They couldn't just be like, oh, okay, well, you know, uh, Volta has that. We better just quickly tweak that in the in the, the Vega architecture. Obviously, that wasn't going to happen. By the time that NVIDIA revealed this, it was well too late. So I guess we're seeing AMD add similar. Now, for those who don't know, Navi is scheduled for 2018. Um... I'm very curious to see what it's going to be like in terms of the difference from Vega. It's also worth noting that Raja Kodori was not actually in charge of the graphics division when Vega was first being, you know, the, when the ideas were being uh, cemented for Vega. So really Navi is the first car that I guess he's had a hand in from the ground up. Um, well, the first architecture, actually, that's a better way of putting it. Uh, since his, you know, uh, new position. So it's going to be very curious to see how it performs. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on this one. Honestly, there's a lot of different ways you could um, you could take this. You could say it's going to be something to do with, uh, you know, with the Infinity Fabric. You could say it's going to be some specific part of the GPU. It could be something entirely different. Who knows? It's going to be very curious. With all of that said, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.